I'm so lucky because I get to celebrate New Year not just once, but twice. Of course, on January 1st, and again when Chinese New Year rolls around. Since it follows the lunar calendar, it just falls on one of the days either in January or February. But one of the big things about Chinese New Year is the family reunion dinner on New Year's Eve. It's so huge and so important that hundreds of millions of Chinese people in China make the trip home to visit their parents. I'm so lucky because I live relatively close to my folks, so I got to go home and eat all of my mom's delicious home-cooked foods, and all the siblings came together, so she was super happy. And she was especially happy because this is my niece's first Lunar New Year, and she is super cute. In Southern California, there is a huge Asian population. So of course, when it comes to Lunar New Year celebrations, it's all over. I was able to go to one at the Huntington Library, and it has an amazing Chinese garden if you haven't been there. I was able to see lion dancers, Chinese dancers, and listen to some wonderful classical Chinese music. It was such a fun day. I'd love to show you a few clips. I could dance like that. In, anyhow, in Chinese culture, New Year is considered to be the most auspicious time to start anything new. And that's exactly what we're doing here at Catch in 2020. I'm so excited about all the new plans, so make sure you follow us. In case you're wondering where all the noise is about, I'm here at Matcha Village. Matcha green tea is the hottest thing in LA right now, and I'll be talking more about it in future videos.